as families and relatives of those killed in the shooting at the Sikh temple met to share their grief. Police called a press conference to give more information about the man responsible for the attack. In front of a room full of Sikhs, officers named the killer as 40-year-old army veteran Wade Michael Page, a man thought to have links to white supremacist groups. We can say that uh, he was in the military from 1992 to 1998. He had a general discharge and that uh, he was ineligible for re-enlistment. I want to make it perfectly clear, right now he is the only shooter that was involved at the temple. The killings have been felt around the United States. In Potomac, in the state of Maryland, is the National Sikh Center, one of the main Sikh temples or gurdwaras in the Washington, D.C. area. Here, local people have been leaving flowers to remember those killed, flowers left by Sikhs and non-Sikhs alike. Religious leader Gurdashan Singh has been saying prayers for the six victims. His brother-in-law leads the other Milwaukee Gurdwara, just a few miles from the one which was attacked. He's decided not to have security at the entrance to the temple because he's refusing to live in fear. I told the youth of our congregation not to be afraid. You have to be free. You have to feel free. And in society, in this world, there is a madness. There are people who may not think the same way, but you cannot compromise with your freedom. But many Sikhs had been fearing an attack like this since 9-11, such as the chairman of the Sikh Council on Religion and Education. There is just, uh, you know, so little knowledge uh, about Sikhism among the, you know, common people here in, in the United States that people easily mistake us for being either being Taliban or belonging to Al-Qaeda or Bin Laden's network. Um, so that issue is, is the central issue behind this tragedy. In Wisconsin, the investigation continues, while around the country, Sikh communities are pulling together and making plans for candlelit vigils from the capital to Wisconsin. The condemnation for these attacks has been widespread, from the White House across the whole of America. But it's at the Gurdwaras where it's been felt most keenly. For many, it's a fear finally realised, leaving Sikhs to ponder the fact that this random attack could have been at their place of worship during their Sunday service. Nick Harper, Channel News Asia, Potomac, Maryland.